What's all the talk about estrogen dominance? Where yeah. does that fit in? That's a big problem, and it affects men and women and our children. And a lot of people don't understand that we've actually got too much estrogen going on in our environment and our bodies. And when we're under stress, we produce more estrogen as well. So estrogen dominance is something that you see in conditions like breast lumps, endometriosis, ovarian cysts, heavy periods, polycystic ovarian syndrome, infertility. So when we see younger women with all of these problems, acne, these are early warning signs that you are overloaded with estrogen. And if you don't do something about it, you end up with, you know, hysterectomies and unnecessary mm. breast biopsies and all these things going on from too much estrogen. And in men, they get man boobs and beer bellies and no sex drive. And that's the reason why Viagra is making so much money right now is because too much estrogen in a man Men are always shocked they have estrogen, but they do. Right, they do. And when your adrenal glands in men, when they're under stress, their testosterone converts to estrogen, and their adrenals make more estrogen, and that's why they get the beer bellies and the breasts and go bald and all of those kinds of things. Well, you called uh, beer bellies estrogen bellies before. Yes. Because... Yes, we see a lot of, well, beer bellies and breasts in men as a result of the conversion of testosterone into estrogen. What makes a man do that? Or what makes a male body do that? Um, well, obesity, being overweight, under tons of stress, lots of stress will do it as well. Uh, we see also testosterone convert to another hormone called DHT, which is linked to hair loss in men, baldness, really? and also um, prostate cancer. So men should be aware of all these things. You know, if you're a 25-year-old and you're losing your hair profusely, you know, we would look, um, natural medicine would look at getting the stress levels under control, changing mm -hmm. the diet, uh, giving men and women nutritional supplements that keep their estrogen to uh, the other hormones in balance. Okay, if you're male or female and you have none of these symptoms, could you still be estrogen heavy? You could, absolutely, um, but we see so much of the estrogen-like conditions, the estrogen overload symptoms in men and women today mm -hmm. that I think in our environment, considering pesticides fit right into your estrogen receptors, you know, we heard about BPA in the baby bottles, that's only one of thousands of different estrogenic chemicals you're exposed to, soy foods are estrogenic, stress causes high estrogen levels. Uh, I mean, it, it would be unusual for a North American to be, you know, what we would call estrogen deficient. Okay. That, that's actually rare. And Dr. Gerilyn Pryor even talked about the fact that mm -hmm. women well into their 80s were making lots of estrogen. And that's the reason why we have estrogen receptor positive breast cancers and other hormone related cancers in high numbers in women over the age of 50.